Hello, Marcus Lim here with the art of Star Trek Discovery. So, the most recent Star Trek uh, TV show, which currently is uh, uh, on season 3 right now, uh, where the Discovery has actually jumped like close to a thousand years into the future. But this book, I believe, uh, well, here's the back, okay? So, this book, I believe, um, it covers only up to season 1 and 2 um, so <coughs> I guess maybe there will be more books to come and this is just the first of many but in any case I'm pretty excited to have to you know, see this in the bookshop because I didn't expect this to come so early but right, uh, any case, let me check this off, check it, and um, yeah, so that's, who is that? That might be Michael Burnham, pretty sure. Um, okay, alright, so let's have a look. The Art of Star Trek Discovery by Paula Block and Terry Erdman, published by Titan Books. Um, so here's the contents, there's a forward, so it's organized by basics, Klingons, effects, sets, and changing the game, okay? So let's go through it, so firstly forward by Alex Kurtzman, okay, executive producer of the show, um, and here's a pretty nice picture of the along with Captain Pike as well. <coughs> Red Angel. Alright, the basics. Which it is the image of Enterprise uh, meeting up with the Discovery at the end of Season 1. Different way of looking at, looking at things. The launch. The Berman Hello. From, I guess, the pilot. Even got, okay, about the opening credits as well. And then discovering, discovery, I guess, the ship itself, engineering, shuttles, transporter, yes, the Shenzhou from the pilot, Captain Jojo's ship. Ah, alright. Ah, Loka, Captain Loka from season 1. Um, yeah, Michael Burnham, lots of props, phases, Starfleet uniforms, okay, uniform, uniform, Enterprise, Enterprise joins the show in season 2, got Klingons, Um, more Klingons stuff. Klingons, Eye of the Beholder. Yeah, that's definitely Michael Burnham. <coughs> um, yeah, Klingon weapons, Ship of the Dead. Effects. I'm going coming down to the effects section. You see a lot of green screen. Uh, Easter eggs. So that's from the cage when they you know yeah from the cage episode um alien alterations visions of the future monitoring the enterprise oh yeah there's just a lot in this book Elaborate sets and exotic tales. So this is more just the different locations that the show has uh, brought us to. Kelpian homeworld. <coughs> Section 31. There's a... Uh, <laughs> Michelle Yeoh. <coughs> Uh, 
again, the em em emperor, right? Okay, nearly there. Orange, really? You recreating the bridge? Yeah. So season two with the Enterprise and Ensign now that's really a highlight, and also Spock as well. Yeah, Spock playing 3D chess. Changing the game, the last section of the book. Short tracks. Yeah, so they did a series of short tracks. Different way of looking at things, part two, there's Captain Pike. Stretching boundaries, keeping the faith. Great angel. Um Final conflict. So this is, I guess, when they all jumped into the future. Goodbye, Spock. Right before they she jumped. There's this um, really touching scene between Michael and the half brother Spock. But yeah, so that's the book. Um, pretty cool book. Right? I guess it's the very first uh, book about the art of discovery. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, it may be the first of many books to come. Because it's just started season 3, so, you know, there's definitely a lot of art in there, in season 3 and beyond. But for now, right, this covers season 1 and 2. So if you are a Star Trek fan or Star Trek Discovery fan, then this is a must-have, right? So thanks for watching uh, this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in another video.